hebu tafakari umetumia mamilioni ya pesa na hata kuchukua mikopo kununulia familia yako nyumba uwale watoto wako na upate kitulizi cha roho hata kabla ya kumaliza kulipa mkopo huo mtazamaji unafahamishwa kwamba nyumba yako inafaa kubomolewa kwa kuwa imejengwa mtoni basi familia nane ziko katika hali hiyo katika mtaa wa Green Park eneo la Athiriva wakipewa makataa kuhama na kubomoa nyumba zao kufikia Alhamisi ijayo. Mwana habari wetu Sam Gituku alijumuika na familia hizo na anasimulia masaibu yao. Takriban kilomita 32 kutoka Nairobi katika barabara kuu ya Mombasa. Mtaa wa Kifahari wa Green Park ambapo ndoto zinatajwa kuwasili nyumbani. Mamia ya familia zinaishi hapa baada ya kununua nyumba kwa mamilioni ya pesa. Hali ilikuwa hivyo kwa familia nane zilizonunua awamu ya kwanza ya mradi huo wakivutiwa na umaridadi wa mto wa Stony Athi. We were looking for a house uh, you know from the outskirts of Nairobi. We wanted a place where we will kind of it's not you know some greenery with a um, get out of town a bit so that every time when we come back on Monday we are a bit uh, refreshed and energized. James Mbithi na Mkewe walinunua nyumba yao miaka tisa iliyopita baada ya wakaamua kuikodisha kwa Esther Kihara. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you guys? <laughs> Safari imekuwa shwari hadi mafuriko ya kwanza mwaka 2013. Miaka tano baadaye awamu ya pili ya mafuriko ikashuhudiwa kwa fujo. Na kufunika nyumba zao vifaa vya nyumba vikiloa maji. The water was reaching here. And I think it's because the water was coming in slowly and by the time it hits every other room so the levels in this room was not as high. Miezi mitatu baadaye halmashauri ya rasilimali za maji ilitathmini mtaa huu na kuamuru angalau nyumba nane zibomole kwa kuwa ziko kwenye eneo la mto. Karibu ni sana. Mzee Francis Opio ana umri wa miaka 69. Ni afisa wa polisi aliyestaafu mwaka 2013 kutokana na akiba yake ya uzeni akaamua kuwekeza katika mradi wa ujenzi wa nyumba aliposoma maandishi kwamba bomoe nyumba yake alikumbwa na mshtuko i collapsed and then became unconscious i'm so lucky because i left the doors open when i was getting into the house when i gained consciousness i found myself at nairobi west hospital i got a sh another shocking bill of about 100,000 I was thinking of how I was going to get the 100,000 with my age Familia nyingi zilizoathirika ni changa ikilinganishwa na mzee Opio wana wao wakiwa wangali katika shule za msingi The kids keep asking me when are we moving They are obviously visibly, visibly disturbed and they are wondering what's going on because they need to know uh, where are we moving what's happening to our house why is our house being demolished what happened to this land is the river going to flood again those are the kind of questions we keep getting from our children my children the first born is 7 and the second born is 5 and a half they were born here so this is home for them yes they they just know the houses are being demolished you know and uh, we have had to sit down with them and explain to them that the house is no longer going to be there walinua nyumba zao kati ya milioni 5 hadi 6 miaka kadhaa iliyopita thamani ya nyumba hizo sasa imefika kati ya milioni 18 hadi 20 na wanatakiwa kuhama wabomoe na waendelee kulipa mikopo yao hasara juu ya hasara kilio chao wakikielekeza kumwekezaji superior homes mjenzi wa nyumba hizo i want my investment restored I would like to be able to guarantee my family that they have a roof over their heads. All we want to do is uh, for us to be restituted mm -hmm. for the developer to compensate us for our investment. Manager mkuu wa kampuni hiyo Regional Okumu akisema tayari wameandikia halmashauri ya rasilimali za maji barua wakipinga kauli kuwa nyumba hizo zimejengwa eneo la mto na kwamba shirika hilo la serikali lingali kujibu barua hiyo. Waathiriwa wakilalamika kuwa kampuni ya Superior Homes mwatelekeza kwa kudenda kushughulikia kilio chao na pia barua ya wakili wao Mohamed Nyaoga. Lakini afisa mkuu Okumu anasema tayari wamejibu barua ya Nyaoga akisema kamwe nyumba hizo hazitabomolewa kwa kuwa hawakukiuka sheria. Kuathiriwa hata hivyo agizo la serikali linajiri tu baada ya msimu wa giza 
nyumba zao zilipofurika na kuhakikishia kuwa maisha yao yamo hatarini makata ya siku 21 yanakamilika alhamisi ijayo so from friday i don't know where i'm going to be so that shock is still stressing me ikiwa amri ya halmashauri ya rasilimali za maji nchini itasalia basi kufikia mwisho wa wiki hii angalau familia nane katika mtaa huu zitasalia bila makao ndoto furaha na kumbukumbu za familia hizo zikifikia kikomo sam kitukusireze ni pashe mtaa wa green park athriva county ya machakos